All right, guys. Today we're talking about plowing snow with a compact tractor. Perfect day, snowing out. I've been wanting to make this video for a couple of years now, but I usually plow the driveway in the morning before work when it's dark or after work when it's dark. So up here, Sunday, snowing all day, but it's light out. So compact tractors have gone through the roof in popularity over the past several years. Um, and when we first bought this property just a couple of years ago, we thought this would be the way to plow the driveway. I read mixed reviews online whether it would work or not, but as you can see, we've got a long, or driveway is a half mile long, it's gravel. Um, so right now it's been zero degrees, it's frozen, no problem. Um, but it's been a learning experience over the last couple of years, and without having bought this plow, I think we would have struggled. So today we're talking about this plow on this tractor, but it'll fit on just about any tractor with a quick attach. I think this, this one's designed, called for up to 50 horsepower. This is a 25 horsepower Kubota L2501. Um, so yeah, like I said, this has been two years in the making. So we'll rewind back to uh, two years ago when we first picked this thing up. I'll show you some of that footage now. Good afternoon, folks. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon, just before Columbus Day weekend here. I snuck out of work a tad early, so we get to uh, FedEx Freight before they close. I ended up ordering a, uh, a plow for the tractor from Everything Attachments. They made everything super straightforward. Um, gave me a call right after I placed the order online, and uh, yeah, it gave me a list of FedEx locations they could drop this thing off at. And uh, yeah, this one's 20 minutes from my house, the next town over. So from what I hear, they're gonna plop it in the back of the truck for me. So we'll see if everything goes according to plan. Beautiful afternoon for a drive. Um, you see a little time lapse here of uh, coming out of the driveway. Pretty scenic. Here you can see the adjustable shoes and uh, just some of the build quality, uh, grease fittings, a whole bunch of places. You got two on each cylinder. Oh, I just got grease on my finger. You got some down here where the plow will uh, pivot when you trip it on something. You got the main point there in the center and two on that. And uh, I didn't really read the manual. I didn't read the manual with it. I don't even know if it came with a manual, but I just try to keep that ultra grease because it lives a pretty rough life. It, I don't keep it under shelter or anything. It stays out in the field all summer. Um, I grease it all and, and coat it with uh, some oil for the summer, but it's sat in the field for a couple. It's covered in snow right now, but only some minor surface rust where the, the paint's chipping off, but all in all, still in pretty good shape.
All right, guys, so I mentioned, talked about the setup and, and how it works so well for me. I guess it's worth mentioning uh, some specs on the tractor. Uh, everyone's driveway is different. Everyone's experience is different, but this tractor, like I said, it's only 25 horse, but uh, the rear tires are filled with ballast. Usually I'll, I'll keep some, uh, some cordwood in the back here or just some rounds just for some extra weight, but unless we get a ton of snow, I, I find we don't need it. Um, I just got these chains on the tires in the last few weeks here, so I went almost a full two years of, of plowing snow without it, but uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. But that's a pretty significant hill going up to the driveway, or up to the house right there. Uh, when, when that's icy, uh, I did a little bit more spinning of the tires than pushing snow. So, yeah, chains definitely help in my scenario, but um, really we're here to talk about the plow, how well it does for me. So here we only have, uh, I don't know, maybe five, six inches on the ground, but you can see these snow banks. It's kind of, it's narrower than it should be right now, but this plow will help me. I wouldn't be able to do it with the bucket very easily or timely at all, but uh, I can run down this, the, the ditch line here and, and push these banks back with the plow, no problem. It's a uh, six foot plow, um, so when it angles 30 degrees, it, uh, It'll cover the track width of, uh, I forget what it says, 62 inches or something like that. Um, so that works real good. So yeah, even now that I've, I've wide, widened the rear tires, the, uh, the, the plow at the full angle of 30 degrees still uh, covers the track width and does real well for us. So I'll, uh, you saw some of the video there of it articulating the uh, third function valve, but uh, and then I demoed how it'll trip for you. And just that little extra maneuverability, I've slid off the side of this driveway uh, more than my fair share of times. And just that extra uh, maneuverability with the, the plow head, I'm able to push myself out of pretty much any situation. So I'm glad to have it. Uh, here I'll just show a few clips of uh, taking care of some snow and, and how well it works for us. scrape down an area real quick here just a two three inches of snow on the ground super easy light work for this thing but it paints the picture that yes with enough time this can do a lot of work really fast and it was an easy decision for us I have a, a half ton four-wheel drive pickup um, that I could have gotten a plow for cheaper than this thing and I could have done fine but I wasn't interested in beating my truck to snot and uh, this gets places we can plow back in the woods I, I guess I could do that with my truck too we plow the wood yard, keep going all winter long, but uh, this has held up well going on. This will be the, the third year from February 2023 right now. I got this Columbus Day 2020, so that's where we're at. It's held up great. Like I said, lives in a field. Um, it was a no-brainer for us. We like it a lot. Um, they're not cheap. Uh, I just looked before I made this video. It's about $3,200. To order this from everything attachments right now um, it's an investment but for what we have it'll cost it's it'll be a couple hundred bucks I imagine every time we had a little snowstorm to have uh, somebody professional come and do it so happy to tackle it as a professional homeowner for now any questions put them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer thanks guys